Start by spraying the mold with MR97 boron nitride. Since the product is flammable and contains fine particles, we always wear a dust mask and spray outside. Shake the can vigorously. Pull the can and mold vertically 10 to 12 inches apart. Spray for a total of 6 seconds. Halfway through the spraying process, rotate the mold. Make sure to get all the edges. If the mold were new, the mold would be left to dry and the spraying process would be repeated. The mold is ready to use. The first project starts by sprinkling fine, turns pink frit into the mold's crevices. When the crevices are half filled, a light layer of CBS dichroic flakes is added. An artist brush is used to arrange the dichroic flakes. We continue to fill the design with a fine turns pink frit. The border area is filled with a 50-50 mixture of fine turns pink frit and clear frit. Frit is added until it reaches the top of the border ridge. A pottery tool is used to lower a double thick piece of clear glass into place. The edges and corners of the glass sheet have been ground to avoid scratching the primer. The mold is ready to fire. Visit our website for complete firing schedules. Here we're creating a second project to include in the same firing. A 6 inch square of iridized black glass is placed irid side down into the pattern fuser. A 6 inch square of plain black glass is placed directly on top. This pattern fuser is ready to be fired. After the kiln cools, the turns pink project is removed from the pattern fuser and placed textured side down into an appropriate slumper. The results of the black irid project are also removed from its pattern fuser. It too is placed in an appropriate slumper, but this time with the textured side up. Complete firing instructions can be found at our website. After the kiln cools, both pieces are moved from the slumpers. The color DeVere pattern fusers can be used in a variety of ways to create unique works.